It's a lot more even now because they clearly put themselves out earlier as the favorite going 9-0, and then dropping a few lately. Does Michigan State still win the regular season, Jordan? I think they do. They've got the experience. They've got a, a lot of starters from a Final Four team coming back. Um, down the stretch, I think they've got what it takes, and the coaching of Tom Izzo never hurts. I think Kalen Lucas to this team, maybe not to quite the same degree, but is kind of like Ty Lawson in North Carolina. Without Kalen Lucas running that offense, it they have a hard time finding an identity. So if Kalen Lucas is healthy, I absolutely think Michigan State wins the conference. They're so hard to beat at the Breslin Center, and they play competitively and so well on the road, and we even saw that even without Kalen Lucas. So yes, I think Michigan State wins the conference. I'm really disappointed in Purdue's start to the Big Ten season. They Purdue now is the highest I, I, ranked I, team I, in the Big I know, Ten. I know they, they look good, I'm just saying. Though that, that start, that bad stretch they had towards the beginning of Big Ten play, that could end up coming yeah, back. Yeah, they better to watch out for Iowa this weekend. We're coming in hot. No. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> thought I'd get a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a just a Pity. disappointed a side. Shrug. I, I can't laugh about it anymore. <laughs> My tear ducts are all dried up after the season, so I can't even cry anymore. Uh, yeah, I think I think Michigan State probably wins if that if that Lucas it would help a lot more. But uh, unfortunately, we tape on Monday. Purdue plays Michigan State tomorrow at eight o'clock. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be watching that one. That'll be a really good game. Uh, so, uh, should we pick the Iowa game this weekend? Do you mean? Absolutely. Okay, let's pick it. Purdue, Iowa. It's in West Lafayette, Mike. Well, um, Iowa only lost by 10 to Ohio State, and I said mm -hmm. it'd probably be a 20 point game. But uh, I really don't see Iowa matching up well. We somehow play them well at home, typically. You know, we compete for a while, but we just don't play well on the road. Two road wins in two and a half years in the Big Ten. Lick lighter. You can't make adjustments in games. It's just not, I just don't see us winning. I hate to be so negative and blunt, but that's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah, Jordan. I won't go into much detail, but Purdue's going to win this ball game. Yeah, I'll, unfortunately, I'll, I'll pick Purdue, but I, I was happy to see that we had, uh, you know, four guys score double digits at Ohio State. Uh, we played tough. We played hard. But unfortunately, just weren't able to get the win. I, I'm probably a similar type of game. We'll maybe hang in there for a little bit, but probably just not win, unfortunately. At least I they mean, play tough. You know, yeah. they're, they're not. Eric uh, May, just, I, I love the way Eric May played. It most athletic State. player on the team, I think. Yeah, oh yeah. I know we're jumping around here, but I just kind of wanted to discuss how far the Pac-10 has dropped off. Oh, yeah, let's do that. From, from past, yeah. you know, we've seen, we saw UCLA go to three straight Final Fours. We mm -hmm. saw Washington was in the mix. USC was in the mix. We saw all Arizona, go, yeah. you know, all these teams, just quality teams coming in. Arizona State had a couple good years. Mm -hmm. And now we're just looking at, at not, I mean, there's just nothing that is impressive at all about yeah. that conference in terms of basketball. Like you talked about, Arizona was at the top of the conference a week ago with a very, very mediocre record. Mm -hmm. And uh, California's underachieved. Washington's underachieved. I mean, there's no one that stands out in that conference. And I don't even know if they're going to get more than two teams in the tournament. I think they just two it, at the most. I think I mean, because of the, their yeah. their the history, yeah. they will get at least two. I think the last year the SEC should have got one. They got two. Yeah. Well, if Tennessee won one tournament, they probably would have only gotten one. But that could be another situation where Cal, Washington, they might compete for the bid. One of them won't win the tournament. They, they might do it. Even a team like Arizona State, Arizona, maybe one of them could sneak in and win the tournament. It's just it's a really one, ugly conversation. And now you got Arizona here. imposing sanctions on themselves yeah. for two years, reducing scholarships. It's going to be interesting to see how Sean Miller – handles that and you know if they don't make the tournament this year that breaks somewhat 25 odd year mm -hmm. streak of making the tournament which is the longest in in the NCAA right now started by yours truly uh Lute Olson. Speaking of Lute Olson, I know this is off topic but at Shields I need to bring in this t-shirt sometime they had 1980 Iowa Final Four uh, t-shirts there and our man Lute Olson brought them there just about throw that out the there. The glory so, days. The glory days. Uh our email, if you want to comment on the show, uiowaist at gmail.com. So for Mike Raven, Joel Marbrina, I'm Alex Salzma. Good night and go Hawks. Honestly, I'm glad you did. I just say that because yeah. what are we gonna say? Oh, I I, I did. I know, oh, I yeah. like the E Trade commercial where the guy was talking about I know. Wolf style and milkaholic. Yeah, I